Hi friends, this is Leela. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have seen, if I click on the alt post, we are able to see the post details and when we click here and we are able to see the complete post details also. That means the component communication and all those things we have seen. Now if any problem occurs, for example if any network error occurs or otherwise if, uh, if the server doesn't able to give you the response or anything means we need to show an error something like unknown error occurred or some server has been busy please try again so something you need to show an error message how you can achieve this one through error message why because we are not using any subscribe method in our project so for example here we are not using any subscribe message if we try to see let's close this one yeah so here in this alt post we are not using any subscribe message for example if you try to use this subscribe message then only you will be having next error and all those things right in this error you will be able to catch but here we are not using the <coughs> subscribe so then how we can catch the errors so now in rxjs we have an operator we have already learned in rxjs course we have a couple of operators for error handling so one of the operator in that in those error handling operators is catch error if any problem or in if any error occurs in the observable so the operator catch error will catch that error and whatever the thing if you want to throw an error you can throw an error or otherwise if you want to send the default observable observable data without interrupting this observable or without interrupting the UI, if you want to do if you want to send any dummy data means you can send it through the catch error so the catch error will operator will send you an error or otherwise if you want to skip off that error and continue with the process also you can do the using the catch error so now using this catch error we can implement this one so let's go to this declarative post.service.ts and here now what is the thing we are having so here is the thing http we are having right and here we can use operators in, in such a way that catch error so we will be having an operator catch error so we are not able to get it sometimes my system will not tell you so here let's try to add this catch error so catch error of and here so this one will send you an error so now what i will try to do is i will try to create a method so that i can use this handle error everywhere where i need it so here this dot handle error and this dot handle error i am mentioning it somewhere at the bottom okay so here i am mentioning it somewhere at the bottom handle error and you will be have you will be getting out parameter of error and now <clears throat> whether if you want to send a dummy observable or a default observable or anything without interrupting the flow you can send it or otherwise what i can say is or otherwise if you want to throw the error means you can throw the error so right now i will throw the errors in such a way that return throw error so if you want to know whatever the error means depending on that error error parameter you can define the error so what is the type of error you are able to get depending on this status code you are getting right 400 means bad request or 404 means not found so something like that 500 means central server error depending on the status code you can mention the error right now i am telling i am writing only written so unknown unknown error occurred please try again okay so this is the method i am trying to show it so now we got we are showing this message right now this dot handle error we got this handle error here and now what i want to do so if you want to use this in the post with post dot category also you can use it so here i am having this map right and i can use catch error so i can use the method catch error and i can send this dot handle error so i can call this method so wherever you want i you can use this one so here also if you want you can use this one so now for example let's try to handle it here also you, your wish so wherever you want to catch that one you can catch it so here also i am adding so this dot handle error so i want to handle the error that's it so now let's go to the single post dot component dot html single post dot component dot ts and here let's try to add an error message okay so error message is equal to empty 
okay so we are having a variable that is nothing but error message and here we will be adding dot pipe of and here also in order to catch that error what i can do i can use catch error i can use the method catch error here also i can use that one catch error and here you will be getting error so here i, I can assign some such a way that this dot error message is equal to error so we know that this error will be written as an string right so we are assigning here this catch error ex expects an observable so that can be any error observable or any uh, observable it expects so right now what we will try to do is i will try to return an empty observable we have an constant empty which returns the empty observable that's it so we are catching that one and we are catching the error and we are uh, assigning that one into the variable now let's go to the single post dot component dot html and in this one what i will try to do is at the top i will try to add one div or otherwise where whatever you want dot dot root dot call mark 12 so whatever you want you can mention it and here i will create div class is equal to alert alert hyphen danger so i can show it error message right so now let's try to add it here ng if so ng if is equal to if error message is there so if it is there only then only we need to show it that's it so now we are able to use this error message and we are able to display this error message right so why is this one error is coming against it okay so i hope this one is correct yeah so now let's try to see the output so if i try to see the output so far no problem fine it is working fine right now what i will try to do is so far no problem so it's a refresh now what i will try to do is i will try to change the in the declarative post service i will try to change the url such that so something default url so that it will throw an error now what i will try what we will try to see let's try to refresh it so it is trying to refresh okay now it is showing that unknown error occurred please try again so we are able to see that unknown error occurred please try again so now let's try to see this one normally what is that one we who is that guy displaying so that guy is displaying from this single post dot component dot html now you you may get a doubt that <coughs> let's implement this change detection strategy so right now we don't have the change detection strategy right so this is the main thing for improving the performance we will be using this change detection strategy let's try to implement change detection okay change detection so we can use it here change detection so here it is not showing so here we will let's try to add change detection change detection strategy so strategy dot on push we will try to use on push why this one is coming still error change direction change direction strategy on push so we are adding correct only right so let's try to remove this one again change detection so what could be the error here so let's try to remove this one also so let's try to add it again so i am trying to remove it again change so we are we need to have change detection change why this one is not coming i don't know what happened to my system sometimes my system will not show the output so let's try to copy here also you don't have a change detection strategy so change detection change detection so whether we are yeah, change direction strategy dot on push we are able to show it right same scenario we will use it here also so the same thing why it is not displaying let's try to change direction strategy on push and let's import this change direction strategy here okay so hope this one should not create a problem for us still it is creating a problem yeah i am not creating any problem yeah it's not creating any problem we are removing this on it also so that's it so we have used this change direction strategy now let's try to see whether this error message will be displayed or not 
if we refresh this page now if you try to see see the error message is not displaying and also the post details also we are not getting if we try to see it in the console then also you will not able to see the uh, the in this console you'll be able to see that we have an error that uh, unable to find this url and here also you'll be able to see that if i try to refresh we are able to see that 404 not found error so it is trying to get it is trying to get the post data from some unknown url so now how can we show that one when this change direction strategy on push is there for the error message so what can we do is we can create same thing action stream such a that error message subject is equal to new behavior subject so we will convert this one to new behavior subject and it should be of type string and i will keep it as here like this and let's try to create error message okay action dollar is equal to this dot error message subject dot as observable okay now whenever an error occurred so what you will try to do here so here this dot error message subject okay error message subject dot next stop error you will try to send this error so for the time for the as it this one is a behavior subject we need to give it as some empty data so empty data means some default value so that's it now in the single post dot component dot html what i can do is so here this should be of type or otherwise what we can do is so instead of having this action so whatever thing you want if you can mention like this error message action dollar dot async as error message i can keep an alias name for this one so that the data whatever the data we are getting from the error message action it will be saved in the error message and we are showing the error message let's try to see the output so this is for the change direction strategy if the say, data is in the change direction strategy so you will be implementing like this okay so this is how we will be implementing the errors in the declarative programming so you will be using this catch error the same scenario you can apply it to the previous ua also here we have used this declarative post right so here we are not able to see the data but we are not able to show the error also so here also you can create error message subject and error message action so that you can you can display that one there also okay so this is how we will be uh, showing the errors in the declarative programming Hope you understood about this error concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.